Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking how to edit the message of the day of your server and change your server icon. Now, the message of the day, or MOTD for short, can be changed by going to server.properties. And if you scroll right to the bottom, there is a setting where you can change it right here. Now, due to the way a Minecraft server is set up, if you want colors and cool fancy symbols on it, you don't use the standard color codes that you use for plugins like Essentials. So the easiest way to do this, I've found, instead of trying to remember them all because they're quite complex, is going to this site at the top, which I'll link in the description, and then this will generate it for you. So for this, I'm going to delete this, and obviously I'm going to choose blue. I prefer that blue, so I'm going to... Oh, Let's choose a lighter blue quickly, and we're going to type in Sarnode. I want that bold and underlined, and I'm going to surround that with two arrows pointing inwards. As you can see, they have several characters that are there for you to use, so that you can use them, and you don't have to use the ASCII keys, which can always be fiddly at times. You can just get ahead, go ahead, and straight away and use them. And let's quickly add a few more special characters just to do that and then on the second line I'm going to do right B for everyone and I think we're going to change the colour, we'll change that one to yellow like that and I don't want that one to be bold though and then what you can do is you can always space it out like that and then centre it so we can then design our perfect message of the day for the server and then what you can do, you can also preview it so it sees what it looks like. You can edit that way and see what you want to do with it. And then as soon as you've done editing what you want to do with it and how you want it to look with all the special characters, um, you can do what you like. And then you can just press create an entity. And what this does is it gives you the exact thing that you just need to copy and paste into server properties after MMTD. So I'm going to go there and copy that. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to copy that there. And as you can see, all I have to do is save the file now. And when I reload the server, the message of the day will be updated. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is editing your server icon, which if we go back here is the little icon that appears here. For this, you do need a file that needs to be 64 pixels by 64 pixels. I'm going to go through that, how you can check that just now so you can see if it's the right size. If not, you will have to find a way to resize it either online or using another tool like Photoshop. So I'll be back once I've got the file ready. <laughs> So I've gone ahead and downloaded the correct picture that I'm going to be using here and I've put it into a folder and now we need to make sure that it is the right size because the server icons do have to be a correct size. So to check that you can either hover over it and it will tell you the dimensions 64 by 64 or you can go to properties and go to details and it will show you the exact dimensions in pixels there as well. You must make sure it's in pixels and you don't actually select inches or any other measurement otherwise it won't work. So once you've checked that the folder the and image are the right size, you're just going to go ahead and upload it to your server, which shouldn't take very long because the, the images don't tend to be that large in size. And then you're going to have to rename it to this exact thing. If you don't rename it to this, then it won't work. And I believe it does have to be a PNG file again, otherwise it won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to that. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and restart the server. And it should now have updated our message of the day and our server icon so I will be back once I've loaded up Minecraft and I'll show you what it now looks like. So now I have gone ahead and changed that and loaded it up into Minecraft and as you can see everything has been updated successfully. One thing to note though is you may need to delete and re-add the server to the multiplayer page before you see the icon update. The message of the day should update no matter what as long as you do it correctly or you may even have to refresh. Just one last little point to note is if there is an error as in your server icon is not loading, what you'll see is you'll see a message there saying something about it up here to let you know that it hasn't worked and the reason why it hasn't worked, which is most probably is either not the right size or the file is too big. But... This is how you do it, and this is how you sort this all out. I hope this has helped, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, or feel free to contact us in our support methods, and we'll see you guys in the next video.